The Gracious Story of Caliph Omar ibn al-Hattab Omar ibn al-Hattab, also known as Omar the Great, was the second caliph of the Islamic world following the death of the Prophet Muhammad in 632 CE. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential and successful leaders in Islamic history, credited with numerous achievements during his reign. Born in Mecca in 586 CE to Al Hattab ibn Nufal and Hantama ibn Hisham, Omar initially opposed Islam and even threatened to kill Prophet Muhammad. However, he converted to Islam in 616 CE following a transformative experience that led him to embrace the religion. It is reported that he went to the Prophet Muhammad with the same sword he initially intended to kill him with and accepted Islam in front of the Prophet and his companion at the age of 39. Though literacy was uncommon in the pre-Islamic Arabia, Omar learned how to read and write in his youth. He developed love for poetry and also learned martial arts, horse riding and wrestling. After the death of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, Omar was chosen by a group of prominent Muslims to be the second caliph, a position he held from 634 to 644 CE. As caliph, Omar oversaw a period of rapid expansion for the Islamic empire, with the conquest of major territories including Iraq, Syria and Egypt. In the 622 CE, due to the safety offered by Medina, Prophet Muhammad ordered his followers to migrate to Medina. Almost all Muslims migrated at night for the fear of being attacked by the Quraysh. However, it is reported that the great Umar ibn al-Hattab migrated openly during the day, saying, Anyone who wants to make his wife a widow and his children orphans should come and meet me there behind that cliff. Umar's conversion to Islam gave the Muslims the confidence to openly pray without any interference from the Quraysh chiefs. Abu Jahl and Abu Safian, who watched them in anger. He is also credited with establishing the system of government that would become known as the Caliphate, which combined religious and political authority in the hands of the Caliph. Omar was known for his strict adherence to Islamic principles and his emphasis on justice and equality. He implemented a number of reforms aimed at improving the welfare of the people, including establishment of a welfare system to support the poor and disabled, and the introduction of a standardized system of weight and measures to promote fair trade. Omar also played a key role in the compilation and preservation of the Holy Quran, ordering the collection and standardization of the various texts into a single authoritative scripture. He is also credited with the establishment of a number of institutions that would become integral in Islamic society, including the Islamic calendar, the system of land grants known as Ekta, and the institution of the Jizya, a tax on non-Muslims that allowed them to practice their religion freely. Despite his many achievements, Omar was not without controversy. He was assassinated in 644 CE by a Persian slave, Abu Lua, who opposed his policies towards non-Arab 